We understand an upside-down world. But they're writing us off before we get to the starting line. A stalled generation? Who do you think is gonna fix all this? We will. Because our future is the future. So we're going to build bridges and hospitals in a day. And feed those left in the cold. We're going to do all this and more because we have an appointment with destiny. Hey, sports fans. Welcome back to another episode of San Diego Prep Insider. We continue our postseason celebration week. We have the Point Loma Pointers. The uh, division, forgive me, there's so many numbers going around in my head. Which division champions? Uh, we won D1. 1D. Okay, so the Division 1 CIF San Diego section champions and then the state Division 3, division three champions. We will cut over to... Point level pointers. Guys, let's go left to right here. Can we introduce ourselves? Name, grade, and position, please. Hi, I'm Cooper. I played center back. My name's Owen. I play goalkeeper, and I'm a junior. Uh, I'm Finn. I was the left back, and I'm a sophomore. It's creative usage of this. The, the microphones, they they move as in, like, the arms move, yeah, but yeah, deal. Yeah. I like it. I respect it. Um, I'm Ethan Denny. I'm a junior, and I'm a striker. I'm Anderson Kelly. I'm a junior, and I play right back. Uh, I'm Wyndham Brown. Uh, I play defensive mid, and I'm a senior. My name's Eduardo Brito. Um, I'm a junior, and I play the center attacking mid. So, Wyndham, you are one of... Only a couple of seniors, uh, there was maybe eight or nine total seniors on the team this year, but only a couple that actually really were like on the team consistently. It was a lot of, or not all like out there contributing consistently. It was a lot of youth. There was a lot of juniors. So for you though, as the lone senior representative here, what has this experience been like? What was this season for you? Congratulations uh, on uh, on a crazy run. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, it was obviously, it was my first season ever playing high school because, uh, I was playing academy before. Yeah, people don't get in the 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 high school soccer scene specifically. Out of anything mm. uh, high school related, there is very much a absence of like certain schools. Like you're like, oh yeah, they do have elite level of talent that attend this school, but they just yeah, they aren't they aren't, mainly, they aren't here. The, uh, the academies, yeah. yeah. So okay, so you show up and you're saying that you single handedly blessed these guys. You're like, I, I shall now <laughs> anoint thee with a championship. Um, no, I, I think it was a lot of us. I mean. There were, so did many, these guys have to talk you into it, or what motivated you to get out there this year? Uh, I don't know. It was just kind of senior year, and I thought I wanted to experience what high school's like. Thought it'd bleep, bleep around and find out. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, so for you guys, then, as a uh, as the underclassmen or the juniors here, what was it this year that uh, you guys early on maybe sort of all looked around and realized? Yo, we got a real shot. Well, I mean, did, was it just the second you showed up, game, day one of first practice? You're like, yo, we've got a squad? Or did it take a certain win this year? Or when did you guys maybe reach a point early in the season where you said, hey, yo, we're, we're, we're a little different than, than, than we've been in previous years? Well, during league, we were 1-6-1, one, and one, so it was kind of tough times. I think the turning point was uh, when we won against Nato in the seventh. Yeah, so I was going to say, too. And then I took PKs and just... Take it from there. Was that the turning point because they are just the rival or just because of also that game? Uh, th Yeah, rival and they, it was just a hard-fought game. Because they are the rival, I know, for Point Loma as a school, but are they the rival for you guys as a program yeah. as well? For yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. and then we and also, we lost to them twice in league, exactly. so we had to get them back. And then and they'd, you know, be talking and stuff. So yeah, and before, before Nato, we had our first playoff game at home against Escondido, and we beat them 6-1. That was definitely a little confidence boost for all of us. We played well. And we knew we had it in us to take it all the way. So at 1-6-1, one, and one, though, uh, I think a lot of teams might, dare I say, come close to packing it up, giving in a little mm -hmm. bit. What for you guys, was there something where you just said, hey, <coughs> we know what we're capable of? Like someone gave us a, a speech that, that had everyone hanging in there? Or was it just... You know, we knew for all along that soccer is just weird, and sometimes you take yeah. some ebbs. Like, well, like what we held had, you guys uh, together? So our Owen, our keeper, had a uh, mono. That's then, not good. Yeah, for most of the league, and then he came back. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, these guys are new to it, so I will explain, as always, what the studio microphone thing is. We hit the elevator music so we can have a private moment for us and nobody else, and you guys, we know the audio goes out. Did he get it? Yeah. <laughs> 
okay. So your goalie is out for a month with mono. Yeah. You, you games are not going the way you want, but you guys are just saying, hey, once we get the whole squad back together, yeah, exactly. Just don't give us an inch because we'll take a mile. Yeah, and also think like we didn't have any bad beats. Like all of our games yeah. could have gone either way. So we 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 hung in there, which is like knew we would turn it around. Well, although the, what's a bad beat in soccer? Like three nothing. Uh, like two, high, like, two, I think four zero higher. Also, like we played Saints twice, the Open Division Championship uh, winners, and we only lost one zero both times. And we probably could have won the first one if we made a PK. So, well, you guys, uh, <clears throat> look, soccer is a grueling, hard, long sport anyway. In a way that I don't think a lot of people necessarily get credit for, and yeah, like you're not necessarily tackling each other. Okay, great, you're still out there grinding nonstop for a very long period of time. But it's also, I think, it seems really tough. Granted, I didn't play soccer, so I'm speaking maybe out of turn, but it seems tough to do that at an elevated rate all year long, where you got to do that with Cathedral and Saints and Coronado and Torrey and Newport Harbors and Quartz Hills. And like, it seems like you 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 could have maybe scheduled some tomato can games in there yeah. late, get some fresh legs in, rotate everything. But you guys have to be kind of burning at full tilt all season long with that kind of schedule, right? Sure. So what helps you guys? Who helps you guys? How helps you guys? Like, what got it done this season? What made you guys this special to overcome all of this and be able to do this this year? Ice baths. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, we took we started taking ice baths in, more towards the end of the season, right before playoffs. And I don't, ever since we started taking ice baths, I don't, we didn't lose So this, this is not a joke thing. This is a, you, it's ice serious. baths. serious. Not really, though. No, but yeah, but at the same yeah, time yeah. though, like this it is definitely a, helped. And um, whose idea were the ice baths? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, wow, a good coaching decision. Chalk that one up as a first. That a good coaching decision leads to a title. Okay, so coach ends up introducing ice baths for you guys. Uh, everybody, nobody who had done one of these before, because these are like when done right, very brutal and unenjoyable. Yes. Yeah. 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 I think everybody. I think Anderson over here was screaming. <laughs> Yeah, I did not like the ice baths. Were you the worst at the ice baths yeah, the I first time? I was through. one of the worst. I, I was screaming a lot. And we like cuddle up and shit. <laughs> oh, I'm not bad. I'm it's bad. all good. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. But. So you like you so so paint the picture for me. We're like in a in a, a big black trash can. How we're, in, the, we're in like a metal tub and we just pair up and go in there. And fresh ice being added. How frequently? Or are the people that are going first getting the worst experience and the people that are going last? No, no. no we, we, we I think... Okay, because see, that would have been my trick, is wait till like three or four people had gone and then be like, all right, not, not quite as bad, not quite as bad, but deal it. New scoops coming in all the time. Uh, consider that a no-go then. Let's talk about the playoffs. A little bit more specifically, your championship game experience here and then getting to go on that state run. Um, what do you guys... It's been what... Uh, a little under a month since that CIF section championship and a couple weeks now since the state title. What stick? Let's start with the section championship. What sticks with you guys from that that playoff run, that championship experience? What are what like? What are you guys still on about? I think for like for me at least, I think the most memorable game was our Coronado game in PKs. Like as I said, we lost to them twice in the league season, and. Well, then let's talk about those PKs. Uh, wh what is everybody's experience? Uh, are we are we collectively all able to actually watch every kick? Are some of you guys hiding in a corner behind somebody not looking? Are there superstitions that have to go on? Like, what was... Yeah, what, our, like we, our, we all... So we're like, not me, but he took one, he took one, he took yeah. one. Because it was what? It was like the fourth or fifth kick that you guys won on, right? Six, like, it was, yeah, it was the sixth... Yeah, it was... Yeah. Versus Coronado's or sixth kick. Yeah. And... And we started by missing our first two, so yeah, yeah, we we missed our first two, and so for people that aren't necessarily soccer people that haven't had that experience, what is it like being on a team on the field during those PKs? Because you have to basically just kind of be like, oh, oh, well, it's out of our control now. Like we gotta. Just, are you are you watching your goalie? Are you guys like only if you still haven't kicked yet? Are you focused on your kick? I like. What are you guys actually doing? other than the people that are kicking the goal and the goalie, what are you guys doing during those PKs? For me, I was shooting fourth, so I watched the first two miss, and then Owen made a couple saves. And then when I got up there, I just knew, like, you just had to be so what are you? So, so, so one through three kick, you're just, like, kind of just standing there loosey-goosey, I mean, or are you, you like... hyped, like, you know, 
Yeah, like you just you have to have a spot. Someone makes yeah. it, or I make a save. Like, just getting that one goal, like it means the whole. Like, it makes yeah. the whole difference. Yeah, and especially I think with Owen. I mean, for for me, best goalie yeah. that I've ever played with. You know, I feel like the whole team knew having him in goal was like a certain type of like safety, and we're like yeah. we, we kind of depended sure. on him, and he definitely stepped up. And a good, a hot goalie is the best safety net in sports. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Especially in playoff time. Yeah, especially in PKs. Like, yeah, for sure. We yeah. won both of our PK shootouts, and both times that we won, I saved it, and then he made him the <laughs> made the last one to like win the game, and like I saved two PKs against Poway, and then also won in the state championship game, and we ended up winning that game three two, and just like those little things that make the difference and help your team win the game. Okay, so Coronado is the uh, the quarterfinals <laughs> that you guys feel like that's where the turning point was. Then let's go forward to Sweetwater. Tell me about that game. What are, what's the memories from that three nothing? That feels like you guys had to actually have some time to to look around and enjoy that and soak in the moment a little bit. Yeah, I feel like everyone kind of knew after we got past Tori that Tori was like the, our main like obstacle that we had to get past. But like we still, I think we're all locked in. We had the mentality that, like it didn't matter who we were playing, we we're gonna still give it our best. And, I mean, I feel like we saw how Sweetwater – we played them during um, preseason, and we beat them 6-1. So we kind of knew it, like, but we didn't want to use that as, like, a, oh, the game but was you, That won. game was two months earlier. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, whole, exactly. whole different were, like, part of the season. They're in the final two. They're here for a reason. You know, so are we. So we just gave it our best. Look, like, and also you're doing very good uh, – you're doing a very polite dance around saying that we whooped the shit out of Sweetwater, <laughs> and it was great, and we deserve to be champs. And – you could you, you look. That is my job to give them the respect that they deserve and say, "Hey, Sweetwater, great season, yada yada." You can say it. We showed up and we kicked a bunch of ass because we knew what we were there to do, and we felt like we had already kind of won because we had faced our biggest challenge. Is that? I mean, that's that's what happened that day. Yeah, cool. sure. Honestly, the first half was a little shaky. I, I think it was what zero zero yeah, at zero, half, zero. and so it was still a close game. But then second half, we just I mean, we went out there and. And for me, it's like definitely the easiest game. I played center back. Zero threats on goal. Yeah, and we, is that and is that fun or do you not want that in a championship game experience? Do you want that or do you want some signature memory of like, oh man, I fought this guy off and, and I already I already got my like like top moment when winning against Nado and then also scoring against Newport Harbor. I don't like I was good just chilling the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that's an underrated experience in sports is the not having to do anything during a a, a championship. I, I, I see that sometimes like in football when you'll just like see a wide receiver be like, yeah, man, my running back's cooking today. I don't got to do anything. I'm most likely going to win a title here. Let's yeah. go. Uh, yeah, you'd love to be those kinds of people. So then going forward to the state playoffs, Newport Harbor, Quartz Hill, El Dorado, uh, I you guys have already kind of talked about some of the experiences in some of those games, but just the 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 getting to the cha- I'm always curious about the the you get to the championship game. It seems like a lot of teams will spend all their bullets getting to that championship game. They'll you know either the emotions of it or the physics of it or or people are just injured. Th- you know, like you, you win, and then it's like okay, great. That's all we planned for was getting to that game and winning that game. And then it's like no, you now got to turn around and. Mm-hmm. Season could be two, three more games longer. Big road games, bigger, better team. <clears throat> That's cr- crazy. No, is, did, did yeah. you, were you guys ready and built for that? Was there sort I of a sense of like that you went into that first week just being like, "Hey, house money now"? Uh, yeah, we had like our in- no one was really injured or anything besides just one like center back. But um, our first practice after we won CF, it was a little bit shaky, a little bit loose. But and then you could tell when we went into the game on Tuesday, we were a little bit. Because we went down 1-0 in the first half, but then we locked in, I guess. After we went down, we, like, kind of, like, yeah, it was a wake-up call because, like, that could be our season. So that's going down one nothing against Newport Harbor. Take us to that moment, then. Who who lights a fire under the team? Lurie. Yeah. After after Lurie scored, we, we knew we could win this game. And, you know, everyone rallying together and, like, fighting. I really like, think uh, when he got the red card... Uh, everything started. Oh, yeah. Everything turned around for us. We just kept going at goal, and yeah, we were dominant. We did. Unluckily, we didn't get a goal, but we could just feel like the momentum change in our favor, and then you kick it no, enough no, times. No, 
Uh, no, we didn't get another one. Yeah, but they also they got a really early early goal, and I feel like we were the better team, and we knew that, so we were like kind of like just waiting for our goal to come. And I mean, our forward had a good moment, turned around with like eight minutes left, tied at one one, and we were like we we're pretty confident because we were a man up too, so we we were fine with pushing it to OT, and I mean we got the job done. It was nice. And then you guys end up against El Dorado, three two state championship game. Uh, Craziest game collectively that all of yeah. you guys have ever played sure. in in any soccer. Toughest. That was the toughest game we've ever. Played. I think that was probably the worst refereed game I've oh. ever played, that, ever. It could have easily been paid. I'm just gonna yeah. say that. <laughs> like shaky calls. Yeah. Three two PKs. Two PKs called in the first ten minutes. It was and then it's not three good. pens in the first half, and yeah. it was first foul of the game on Cooper. That uh, was Finn. No, you yeah. yellow card. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I deserve that, though. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I gave up a pen, which was not That's even close to a pen. Yeah, which but was even if it was, like, somewhat of a foul, it was too soft. You don't call that, like, in a finals game. Like, yeah, you, don't, yeah. you don't, like, decide there's, the there's game on that. There's way too many ticky-tack fouls. Yeah. Nah, I can't lie. That game, at, like, one point, I was like, I don't know if we got this because the refs called two pens on nothing. But then they ended up giving us one that was kind of weird, too. Yeah, also very also But, I mean, the refs were a little weird, but... We we believed in each other. We could get it done, and we fought till the end. And yeah, we close. had a little bit of a lucky moment at the end too. When we were tied two two, uh, Marco Alonso <laughs> kicked in a corner, and uh, the goalie just didn't catch it. It went in, so right off the corner. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, why not? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I and I, I laugh over here just because your your comedic timing of yeah no I deserve that one. It, it it works very perfectly. Very rarely do you have many athletes going yeah 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 you're right no no no. no. That, that 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 was my bad. Okay, so the 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 reaching of that state championship with this group being pretty much majority juniors or or sophomores contributing to this team. Are you guys? I mean, I'm not asking you to stand here and be like, "We're coming back, we're winning." I mean, yeah. but you guys got to be pretty confident, right? Like, you guys got to be going into this off season feeling like at least. You're not getting yeah. worse next yeah, season. Like sure. I think uh, next year, I think we can win it again just because we're all juniors or sophomores that are going to be contri- contributing. And we're also going to be getting just better as a team. Or, or at least be ready to move it into that open division conversation and, and take yeah, like that like next. I open. I mean, okay, great. Yes. Yeah. I, I love that. Yeah, that is, is a shirt. I'm trying to give you the soft landing spot of just being like, hey, man, we'll go above 500 in league and hang it open. But you're like, no, no, I'll take the open division title. I like yeah. it. I like and I like the mindset. I just want to be a little bit like beat Saints both times and Notto just in league. And then what's a better win at Notto or at home versus Notto? Oh, for sure. At Notto. I love going to Notto. I love, I love yeah. Especially I like after we won. They stop talking. Yeah, and so especially Nato has a very loud crowd, so be able to shut them up at their home yeah. would be very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, I've been meaning to ask about the Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> is that something that you watch regularly? How do you consume that? How do, um, or is this more of a you just kind of chose this off I of told, a... I watched the show when I was younger, probably like sixth grade, a little bit. Who exposed you to that? And si- How did you uh, wind up with that in sixth friend, grade? My friend, Chris. Uh, I don't know. It's a weird way. Yeah, uh, that's know. my generation. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, okay, so. And then I saw it at a mall and then I copped it. Can you do a Beavis and Butthead impression? No. Can you do I, the. I cannot. You can't do the, <laughs> the Corholio. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> um, so, guys, what then is the off season for you? Because um, I'm assuming that this is now you get to enjoy it a little bit and you're not right back to the weight room 24 7, 365, or is the team already. You know, in grind mode for next year. I think I think we just keep getting better. Like that's all we can do right now. And then yeah, well, we all have club too, and so we just see what that. Anybody doing spring sports at Point Loma? I am actually. Yeah. Us three are doing track. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're all, well, that doesn't really count. Doing track. Wait, spring. Sports? Well, spring. A track counts. Track and cut. Track and tire. Track is a track is a sport. Yo, track's a legit sport yeah. here in San Diego. Yeah, we had a uh, meet yesterday. So yeah, crushed it. Um, I'll admit sometimes the field people per, that, that, you know, sometimes the discus and, and shot putters, they lackadaisically show up, put in a couple throws, don't necessarily, uh, go super ham, but okay. So what, what events is everyone doing? Uh, I'm, uh, you want to go? Oh yeah. I, I did the long jump, triple jump, four by four and hundred meter yesterday. 
Uh, I'm gonna do the long jump, triple jump, and probably like a sprint or something. Yeah, I'm doing long jump, triple jump, and then probably like end up doing hundred meter or two hundred meter. So is this all of the long jumpers and triple jumpers the school has here in one interview, or <laughs> nah. how deep or how yeah. deep is Point Loma in long jump and triple jump this year? Good grief! Oh, uh, we have a lot of jumpers. Forty deep? Yeah, <laughs> probably like twenty five. We got a Damn. big. Yeah, uh, we have track a good team. group this year. And then what do you? How would uh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how would you know? What do you mean? Uh, this is my first year playing lacrosse, but I play lacrosse too. Yes. And then before soccer, I play water polo. Why did you decide to play lacrosse this year? Uh, my dad wanted me to. And then, uh, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. Are we laughing at the yeah. voice crack? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Puberty happens to all of us. Uh, it, it has happened to far worse people on the, or it happened far worse yeah, to people yeah. on other episodes of the show. I am, I, lacrosse, and we could go a whole other direction, and I know 20 minutes and people don't need this detour, but I will say lacrosse is the one sport that I regret not saying yeah, yes that's to my dad growing too. up is uh once i got indoctrinated to that back east yeah oh my gosh being a long stick midi would have been my <laughs> calling in life just the thought process <laughs> of getting to just smack yeah, someone relentlessly and be like oh no i was i was going for the ball i was going for the ball yeah yeah no it, uh yeah, that sounds it, like a blast sorry. what position do you play uh mid Attacking men. Very cool. Yeah. So you get, you at least stay active all yeah, the exactly. time. Yeah, no, it's a fantastic sport. Uh, you guys going to be any good this year? Yeah, I think we have a chance to win. Uh, D2. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. All right, I will come check that out. Who's the best triple jumper, long jumper, high jumper here that we got? Uh, that would be me. <laughs> all right, we will, come, we will come check you out as well at a track meet. Guys, thank you very much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Congratulations on making some major school history and some major San Diego section history. Thank you. And on thank you. Showing up and housing a state title in your only time you ever played high school sports. I think that that might per capita make you the winningest kid to ever play high school sports in San Diego. So congrats. Um, I'm up there too. Sophomore, freshman year, undefeated JV, and then come in varsity. End up winning state and D1. Yeah. If you don't mind, that's what will go on to the uh, the undefeated JV part is what will go on Instagram as our social clip oh, uh, for, yeah, from was, this interview. Was, 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 uh, deal. Uh, undefeated JV champs. Yeah. Uh, we, we will adjust the scoring bracket to include that um, <laughs> if, for, for future uh, references on teams and dynasties. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We'll get we'll get some uniform patches for that. Uh, we'll make sure we the all CIF undefeated JV team. Uh, we'll talk to you guys soon.